guys welcome back to the channel another no bs video on this project we're going to use the ht or the i'm sorry the xt60 connectors which are good for 60 amps 500 volts and some standard battery lines. all right so the name of the game here is any of these these pieces of equipment that use these starting batteries these lead acid batteries you guys know that these always these things always go flat so this is a good idea anything that uses these batteries right here i've built an a, a xt60 connector and i put it on there and i hide it away and I make it compatible with my NOCO. This is the little charger I've been using to top all my batteries up. This is not a sponsored video. I just really like this because it's wall mount and it's a nice design. It's the X, this is the NOCO Genius and I've taken the factory uh, lugs that came on it, cut them off and mounted an XT60 on here. It's fused on both sides. As well. So simple tools, a crimper, a couple lugs, the XT60 connectors, which I'll link below, they come pre-wired. And if you don't have fuses on your charger, make sure you fuse this side of the of the actual connector. You need a fuse in line. Got some shrink wrap and a lighter. So I'm gonna put these lugs here on here like this. So there's your connection right there. And what I do is just mount this to the battery and it keeps this end ready to go. So I'm gonna add one of these to my dirt bike. So shroud comes off dirt bike batteries under here and you can see it hangs out right here and this is prime time for one of these connectors because putting alligator clips on these is a real pain in the neck and i don't drive this thing or run it enough to keep that battery topped off so this is perfect perfect application for this scenario here I'll work that bike. oh me too buddy all right so i took the seat off so you guys could see with some light here so what i'm doing is just Attach in my yeah. XT60 right here and it'll hang down yeah, right here. <laughs> I can reach under and I know too much talking in videos, right? So you get the idea. So take you around the back of the bike here. You can see there's our little XT60 right there. I can plug in my charger, no problem at all, which I'm going to do right now. For so I just made a connection. Oh, it's going to charge, but there's a connection right there. Easy peasy, and you can also get little covers for these XT60s as well. So you guys are out there ripping around in the mud, you can waterproof that pretty good with a waterproof cover if you want to. And there it is, it goes up and into the NOCO Genius, and that'll put on a charge tonight. Uh, nice slow trickle charge, get it all charged up good, and uh, I'll be back in business. You can also keep it plugged in all the time on this thing, it'll keep it floated. Just like a battery tender, it's just a much quick, much quicker system because you can see right now it's plugged in. Say it's done. I don't have to worry about taking any fairings apart. Boom. I just pull it because these things just slip in and out. It's just a better way of doing a 12 volt top offs like this because these things will carry the amps and the volts no problem at all. 